So I've logged on here as April, the accounts payable person. So one of the tasks that April might have to do in a shared services sort of situation or in a headquarters situation is manage multiple companies. And that might mean uh, handling payments uh, for invoices that are incurred in the subsidiaries. So let's walk through that example. In this particular case, I've got multiple legal entities. Two of them, my German entity and my US entity, are set up to work in an organizational hierarchy called centralized payments. So I can work in my organization administration, go into my organizational hierarchy, and I can see my centralized payment. I can view the organizational hierarchy here and I can see that it's composed of my German entity and my US entity. So this will be used for handling our intercompany uh, processing or our centralized uh, payment processing. So I'm going to go into accounts payable and I have a vendor here and my vendor is my uh, consolidated services. Um, and that vendor has roles in both my German and my US company because we buy uh, goods for them or buy services from them um, in both of these organizations. Now what we have is uh, invoices entered for both of those uh, entities. So let's go and uh, organize a payment for them. So I'm going to go ahead and um, change my session date. This might be something that um, someone like April Accounts Payable person does if they do invoice processing on specific days. Maybe they do it in the middle of the week, for example, or something like that. So I'm just going to put it ahead here. Now I can go in and register my payment journal. Now I'm in the US company here. So this could be the headquarters company, for example, or just another subsidiary that's going to pay um, for stuff for the other subsidiaries. So I can create a new um, payment journal here and then I can go into the lines. Now what we have is the ability to create a payment proposal and in this particular case we're going to set a few things. Um, specifically we're going to set the include vendor invoices from other legal entities because we're trying to pay across legal entities so this is a specific run that we're trying to do for uh, sweeping those invoices. Now in this particular case I could do it for a group of vendors that I, I might need to pay that could be classified in different classes for example. In this particular case I'm going to pay our consolidated services and um, look for the invoices that I need to pay for consolidated. So when I press OK here it's going to generate a payment proposal and we'll see that we actually have uh, two uh, documents in our payment proposal. So I have um, two, one for 50 euros, one for 50 USD. And I'll sp see the specific rate in this uh, company's currency. So in this case, uh, US dollars 61.55. Now these are the two invoices that I wanted to process because um, I want to pay them. So I can simply say OK. Now in this particular case, uh, you'll see it'll transfer the currency from the originating document and you'll see that we don't have a default payment method here. So in this particular case, we're going to say that we're going to pay by check. Uh, it could be electronics funds transfer, so I'm going to um, change those. And I'm also going to specify that um, uh, we're paying this in USD. Okay, so that'll give us our, our amount that we're going to uh, convert from a payment perspective. Now these are my two transactions that I'm ready. Um, I can go and uh, generate that payment. Um, so I'm going to generate a check. I'm going to take it from my US operating uh, account. And what we're going to do in this particular case is say show the dialog. This will let me print to a file so that we can have a look at the checks. So I'm going to go into the document and instead of printing a printer, I'm going to print to a file and I'm going to um, print to an image file in this particular case, which is uh, a bitmap. So I'm going to say OK and then I'm going to say OK to actually generate the checks. So you'll see that um, 
we get uh, two checks uh, in this case so we can send one uh, for our local US and we can send one over to our German entity now I could go and have a look at those um, so they're on my C drive temp folder and these were my checks A123 so I could have a look at those from an image perspective and I'll see that this was for the 61.55 in US dollars I'm paying to um, um, the company okay and so the other check will look the same but $50 so there's our checks uh, created and in theory we could uh, we would have actually printed them as a run and sent them off now if everything's okay if we did print them okay they've generated okay then everything's good to post so we can simply um, close this out from a journal perspective and then post it uh, to hit the ledgers so that's uh, posted so two vouchers have posted and that will settle our invoices so if we go and have a look at our vendor invoices so this is my A123 if I have a look at the uh, balance here I would have paid off um, the original invoice here and we'll see the payment process run all the way through as well if I have a look at my balance uh, I've got nothing outstanding for that uh, vendor anymore and I can also have a look at my recent activity which would be the last invoice amount and the last payment amount so they net each other off now we can switch across to our German entity and we can have a look at the vendors over here so I can see my A123 vendor and if we have a look at the balance I've got nothing outstanding for uh, that vendor if I have a look at our transactions they're settled off and I've got no balance so we're settled our account you'll see the last activity on this account we'll see the invoice I won't see the payment because the payment was registered over in the uh, other company now there is of course work for the accounting team to do because uh, they of course need to uh, do the intercompany journal from a back end perspective to settle um, the money that's owed from my German company to my headquarters company if, they, if they're going to pay uh, back the money for this uh, payment. But essentially what we've walked through is an intercompany payment. Um, what this is giving uh, someone like April, the accounts payable person, is the flexibility to manage multiple companies and handle consolidated payments.